Hi, myself from Khan Modak and I'm from Team Digby. So I just want to share our business strategy which helped us to achieve our objective and our objective is to maximize our profit, uh, maximize our mag, uh, market capitalization and to get a good balance scorecard score. So to achieve this objective, we use the strategies such as we focused on the low end size and high power, high end segment. So we invested the money in these three segments instead of focusing on the all segments. Also, after that, uh, we increased the automation level for low end segment so that we could offset the second shift. So it helped us to uh, maximize our contribution margin and reduce our uh, costs. The third strategy which we used is that we introduced the two new products in the high end segment. So it helped us to enhance our market share in that segment. So we introduced Domino and Duncan at the right time. So that uh, so at the end of the simulation, uh, we are the highest. Uh, we had highest market share in the high end segment. Also, we worked so worked very well on our low end segment product Dell that it alone has a market share of market share more than 20% at the end of the simulation. Another set strategy we, we use that we took the right decision at the right time, such as we, when we realized that we were not doing good in the performance segment, we just jumped out from that segment and instead of uh, in, uh, instead of uh, focusing on that, we invested the cash or our resources in the, the another segment and we were able to pour out the profit from the other segments. Another thing which we did was so we focused our production very well so that uh, we could meet a market demand and also we keep an eye on our capacities so that uh, we, we, we can produce some enough products to meet a market de uh, meet demand and we could make a large profit. Quitting the performance segment can be viewed as an example of how we chose to allocate our limited resources to get the best possible results, to get the highest possible return on investment. Now going for the performance segment was no coincidence. The performance segment is different from the other uh, two high-tech segments in a few different ways. One of them, for example, is that reliability is a top priority, which means that material costs are very high. But that's not everything. Positioning is important. It's still a high-tech segment. That means that you cannot increase automation levels so much, which means that your labor costs will be high. Now, add to these two, that among all the high-tech segments, this one happens to be the one that is most sensitive to pricing. Put these three together in combination and you will get very low contribution margins. So until TQMs, until TQM kicks in, your high performance products are doomed to have very low contribution margins. This is why, this is why we wanted to avoid this segment in particular and chose to focus on the more lucrative and rewarding segments. Hello everyone, my name is Nihat. I'm going to talk about the improvements. Uh, there are three main points that we think we could have done better in the simulation. Uh, the first one is investing in TQM. Uh, we made conservative decisions while investing in TQM compared to other companies at round 4. Uh, this put us behind our competitors, especially for the revision dates in R&D department. Uh, most of our competitors' newer version of products were released earlier than our products. This situation decreased our total sales, so we should have invested heavily in TQM starting from round 4. <clears throat> and our second point is the capacity. Buying enough capacity for the upcoming rounds is the key to not have stack outs. Uh, for the low end segment, our survey score was very high and we were, only, we were the only company who made the product revision at the right time. However, we didn't do a good job on buying enough capacity. To calculate our expected capacity amount, we were using survey score the given demand and we were adding extra 10% of the calculated capacity, regardless the market condition. 
uh, we think we should have focused more on the market condition than blindly adding 10% extra of capacity for each segment. And our last uh, point is the seller's market. We had two seller's market opportunities in the simulation. At round six for the low end segment, we discussed about possibility of having a seller's market opportunity based on the previous round's production levels and yearly growth rate for the demand, but we didn't take any necessary actions, such as increase, increasing the product price to the ma maximum limit or even adding extra $4.99 to the max maximum limit of the uh, product price. So these were the main points that we think we could have done better. Uh, Samira will take it forward from here. Hi, I'm Samira. So now we discussed about how we can improve our business and what strategy should have been used. Well, I'll talk about the different tools that should be used in order to improve it. So it's your company, right? So a company will have a lot of information and you would like to have information at any point of time. So for that, you'll store it in a database. So yes, the first tool that will be used is an Oracle RDBMS, where you can store and retrieve information at any point of time. Second, you have all the data, but now you want to present it to the world. Even the world should know the way you're performing. So for this, you can use the reporting tools. So Tableau, Power BI are the most widely known tools. One more tool is Einstein Analytics that is used by Salesforce. So it does the similar work. So you can customize the way you want it to be and you can build your dashboards according to your business requirements. The third will be now you have to build a model. Of course, before putting it anywhere, you want to see what factors are affecting the concern factor. So the first one will be consider your production. So we want to know the revision date in it. What if you want to know series of revision dates? So for this, you'll need a time average moving model. Second will be now how do you find your revision date? It must be dependent on some factors. Yes. So you build a model based on your size, performance, MTBF. And from round four, there's a new factor that is TQM that will also come into picture. Now you build your new model based on these four factors. Next will be, so this is known as a tool that is used by financial analyst. So what they do is they depend on historical data to find the next future grow rate. So this can be done by MS Excel as well. So now I've discussed upon the tools. Moving forward will be the takeaways. So in my team, we had a really diverse cultural background and which was the best part as I could learn new things. And at the same time, the most important point that I and even my team members learned will be active listening. That is, let somebody speak and you never know. He may have a really good idea that can help you improve your business. Next will be strategic development. So if you want to make profit, it's very important to have a proper planning. Nothing goes without a proper planning. Next will be time management. So we prioritize things and we acted according to the schedule. This helped us in giving all the results in the given deadline. And the last will be innovation. That is thinking out of the box. This helped us in our proper planning and even making profits for our business. So I hope you like our video. Thank you.